probably hear. Uh, there's wind and rain and storms behind us here on the beach, um, but that doesn't uh, put a damper on our day. That doesn't uh, make it a bad day. It's our last day here. We leave tomorrow morning. Um, but it's kind of fitting that the last day is stormy and cloudy. I'll quiet down a little bit. And just to reflect, just to relax uh, before our trip home. Uh, we still have the rest of summer uh, before we go back to teaching. Uh, but uh, this was our, our main time to get apart and rest a while. And it's really been a good time. Uh, we had uh, uh, one of our children and two grandchildren with us. And we had time to go around and, and just walk around the different areas and enjoy uh, the beach scene, enjoy the pools and the and the ocean and the sand and all those things that come with it. I uh, met some friends here, caught up with some friendships from past visits here. And I want to share the uh, verses though from, from John 10.10. 10. Uh, we know that it reads that the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But yet God comes and Jesus came that we may have life and life more abundantly. And that's what I want to focus on on this cloudy day. I'm not going to let the devil steer on, steal our joy and our happiness and our our fun. Uh, we plan on taking some walks when the, when the sky, skies clear up, and uh, just to really, you know, just to relax on this last day and, and take it all in. Uh, it's not going to put a damper on the day. In fact, it's a day we're going to say, "Hey, this is a good day just to sit back and, and really relax and really calm down." Uh, we do have an eight-hour trip back home, so that you know, that's not what we look forward to, but it, it's a reality. And uh, then we have some important decisions to make when we get back uh, from from the trip. So uh, uh, while you might be going through some storms or you might be disappointed in today or things that are going uh, not quite as well as you planned, trust God. Trust God that uh, the thief, uh, the devil, is trying to destroy our, our you know, our joy. Uh, is trying to destroy our testimony. So many things going on within the church body today, and people are jumping on the bandwagon, criticizing and surmising this happened and that happened. But continue to trust God. Uh, Strengthen your relationship with Him, and um, you know, don't let society, don't let people, don't let the world get you down. When the clouds come, hey, we know there's a rainbow coming as well. Uh, so uh, trust in that, that that God is in control. Uh, the, the same power He has in a storm is the same power He has uh, in our lives. He can He can change things in an instant. So trust in Him. Uh, not allow Satan to steal away the, the plans that God has for us. Those who plan to have an abundant life, which, which really just means uh, have eternal life with Him. And it starts here on earth because our relationship is now, not just then. But our relationship with Christ starts the moment we're saved, and it continues throughout eternity. Uh, so, you know, trust God with everything. Have some joy in your life today. Find the small things that bring you happiness. And be remember to thank God for all of that. Uh, so uh, this will be my last, uh, uh, my last uh, blog, my last post from the beach. Tomorrow we travel early, so I probably won't be on tomorrow, maybe later in the afternoon when we get back home. Uh, but pray for me and our family as we have some decisions to make in the very near future. And as I, if you have any prayer requests, uh, leave them for me, and I'll be sure to pray for you. And I want to say a special hello to my students, my graduates from 2024. Hope you guys are doing well. And for all my former students, uh, you know that I'm praying for you, and whatever you need, just let me know. God bless you all. Take care.